volunteers recently provided care and assistance for elderly residents affected by a fire in Tuchong. New Shoot Scholarship continues to provide assistance and aid to local impoverished students in Thailand. I'm Sean Scal. This is Die Headlines. Let's get started. A fire broke out at a house in Tochung recently. Fortunately, two elderly residents escaped with only minor injuries. Did you volunteers living nearby immediately went to provide care and assisted in cleaning up? Here's more. The entire kitchen was almost burned to ruins. Steel frames and wooden slats were scattered everywhere. Kitchen utensils, many small household appliances, and even gas cylinders were all burned out. The fire broke out in a residential house in Taocheng, Yinan. Fortunately, two elderly owners are safe, with only minor injuries. The two elders were very worried after the fire. They said that their clothes were all burned. Some of their pocket money was also burned. They didn't even have extra clothes to change into. After the disaster, the volunteers living near the affected house immediately went there to provide care. That day we came here to give them food. After settling their stomach, we found that their clothes were burnt or wet. So we went to buy some clothes and pants for them. Tsuji also gave them $20,000 for emergency cash to ease their minds. Owing to the large area of the fire site, the two elders are unable to clean up and their son is in poor health, so they have asked volunteers for assistance. My mom and dad are very old and only rely on me to come to tidy up, but I'm sick and I really can't do so much. Thank you to your brothers and sisters for helping me with cleaning. Volunteers divide all burnt items into recyclable and non-recyclable things. Those that cannot be recycled are packed in bags and waited for the cleaning team to remove. And the recycled items are transported by volunteers to the recycling vendors for selling. The money received are all returned to the house owner's son, so that the two elders can have a good lunar lunar year with peace of mind. Four sessions of year-end blessing ceremonies were held at the Zhiji Banchao grounds. The theme was environmental protection and vegetarianism. Let's take a look. Hundreds of volunteers are being mobilized to set up 17 roof tents and wash 50 pieces of floorings. Carpenters, plumber and electricity workers are also there to help. Volunteers go to Tsuji Banqiao grounds for decoration one week before the community year and blessing ceremony. This year, the blessing area is specially designed. In the past, a blessing area was always arranged at the back booth, but this year we want to have a different feature. It will be at a circular area and placed in the center. This will be more attractive. A quiet space is deliberately arranged for people to come to their house and pray in front of the Great Awakened One. Everyone can tell the Bodhisattva about his feelings. The more he tells, the happier he'll be because his sufferings and troubles will get resolved. He'll look different when compared to the moment he comes in. There is also the God of Wealth to welcome the guests. Everyone brings his bamboo kanban to donate. I want to help others. I have made regular donation every month. This is the extra donation in bamboo coin bank to help the people in need. Even for such a little power can help other people. This is good. With the theme of environmental protection, these layouts are all made by recycled materials. Hose, PET bottles and glass bottles are all collected by recycling. The Yong'an Borough Chief is the best guy. He comes to join every year. This year, he brings many young and elderly people here with a coach. Actually, I haven't called for this event because everyone knows that what Siji has been doing. So when I told the residents that I'm going to join the year in blessing ceremony, many of them came to sign up enthusiastically. Everyone observes the anti-epidemic measures and maintains a safe social distance. Senior members of the community drum team perform happily on stage. We grew up in a rural area. I think the whole atmosphere of Tsuji is like returning to the old rural era. That is, the neighborhood and interaction among people are very sincere. A total of four year and blessing ceremonies were held in two days. There are touching and joyful moments, enhancing the neighborhood in the community. 
Zhiji volunteer Chen Chongming has led many sutra study groups in Kaohsiung's Gangshan. This is despite opposition for him to lead the group since his wife became ill nine years ago. He says the study group has helped him release stress. Here's more. Dealing with life's ups and downs, he's able to find wisdom through experience. Looking at old family pictures, is everyone still recognizable? Chen Chongming is worried his wife won't remember them anymore. When my wife's symptoms worsened, my entire family went through days where there was no tomorrow. She didn't recognize family, myself or the kids. If she got out of the house, she wouldn't be able to find her way back home, or maybe even hurt herself. Life was constantly throwing curved balls at us. I didn't need to just take care of her. I also needed to take care of the two kids and then go to work. Nine years ago, Chen's wife was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and the entire family was thrown upside down. My mother was diagnosed with cancer, and she was able to come to terms with it and even live with it in harmony. My father also suffered a stroke around the same time my mother was sick. Despite Chen's stressful life, he still continued to cultivate blessings through recycling. His mother has also been sorting recyclables alongside him for 15 years. I don't question why I might have gotten a disease, but instead, I'm just glad my legs are still good and I can still walk, which means I can work. The master says I don't have to know the words as long as I know the meaning. So I said, OK, I'll listen to the master and come to the study group. Some of my relatives asked me to stop the Tsuchi work, but I didn't. I continued on as the Sutra study group is my place of peace. Despite one difficulty after another, his Sutra study group continues to flourish with Chen's determination and belief. He didn't give up, but continued to lead many Sutra study groups and help inspire many community volunteers. I vowed to spread the Master's Dharma to where she was unable to reach. Chen's leadership role in Siji means he has endless tasks to do, but he doesn't shy away from any of them. 18-year-old Huang Ziting has received Ziji's New Shoot scholarship for six years in a row. Her mother suffers from depression, and Ziting has enrolled in a military school to ease her family's financial situation. Take a look. We are disadvantaged financially, but we never gave up on being a role model for those younger than us. Zhi Ting is a new cadet in military school. She has received Siji's New Shoot Scholarship Award for the past six years. She is very caring about her family, as her mom suffers from depression and her father has to take care of the family. My father has the ability to have a much better life, but because he needs to stay at home to take care of us, he doesn't. I can only work odd jobs here and there. Where Zhi Ting gets a scholarship, it helps to maintain her life, along with subsidies from the government. This female is equal to a man. Zhi Ting didn't forget her childhood dream and continued to work on her Taekwondo, winning many awards. My training in Taekwondo is inspired by constantly striving forward and continue to move up in rank. Zhi Ting never gave up or let her grades fall. She always averaged 80 or 90 and above. This is something that I am comforted because she can take care of growing her talents and her schoolwork. Zhi Ting gave up on her dream of attending the National Taiwan Sports University and takes her future into her own hands, as she knows she can change it with determination. The Ziji Thailand chapter has been distributing new shoot scholarships to impoverished students since 2011. The past 10 years, they have helped 14,000 worthy students pursue an education. Let's take a look.
ทุนจากมูลนิธิพุทธชีวิตจี้มาประมาณ10ปีแล้วค่ะก็รู้สึกขอบคุณขอบคุณมากๆที่ให้โอกาสหนูในเมื่อเขาให้โอกาสเรามาเราก็ต้องคว้าโอกาสที่จะไปช่วยเหลือคนอื่นบ้างเพราะยังมีคนที่เขายากจนกว่าเราดิจิทัลพันเดมิกสกูลส์ในไทยแลนด์ได้ดีเลย์เดียร์สกูลโอเพนิ่งส์สตาร์ทิ้งในเดือนมกราคมปีนี้ซีดีวอนเทอร์สได้ดิสทริบิวต์สกอลลาชิพส์ถึง1665อินพาวเวอร์สตูเดนต์ในมากกว่า100สกูลส์ลักษณะของพ่อแม่ที่มีปัญหาเรื่องเงินค่ะเป็นพ่อแม่ที่มีปัญหาเรื่องเงินDue to the pandemic, many parents' income have been impacted. They still have to pay for their children's tuition, which is a heavy burden. Today, as students receive CG scholarships, they are encouraged. It also lessens the parents' burdens. Hope you will become strong trees, providing shed to other people, be a person who contributes to society. To lessen their mother's burdens, Chakunak and her sister thought about giving up their dreams of attending high school and college. However, with a new shoot scholarship, the two sisters decided to pursue a college education. Before receiving Siji's scholarships, I only want to complete general high school studies, but now I am determined to get a college degree. I will be a good child and study hard to return my mother's and society's favors. Thank you. Through all kinds of activities, the volunteers lead the students to contribute to society and love the earth. I am very happy that I have the chance to serve other people. Sorting garbage and collecting recyclables is also a way to love the earth. We all have responsibilities. The Zhiji Philippines chapter hired a staff member to take care of the garden. He received help from Zhiji after a typhoon. His wife suffered a stroke last year. The family now cherishes their stable life. Rubbing her left hand, Blasilica recalls that before she suffered a stroke, there were signs of illnesses. In the beginning, my left hand often felt numb. When I was doing laundry, I did not have strength to twist and dry the clothes. I also felt dizzy from time to time. As the wife fell ill, the husband has awakened. Before I came to Tsuji, I was a driver. When I was not driving, I was often drunk. My life was the same. I drove when I was awake. I was also addicted to drinking alcohol, as I often went home drunk. Having a filial daughter, the family of three is embracing a stable life after much difficulties. When we were impacted by the typhoon, we did not know if we could get back on our feet. Fortunately, Tsuji Foundation has brought changes for us. So Pisio has quit his drinking habit as he dedicates himself to his work at Tsuji, weeding grass and cleaning the environment. His mind is also being purified. Last year, a typhoon swept across the Philippines, devastating the lives of many residents. Zhiji Inishay worked for relief campaign and also distributed monetary aid. Today, we look at how the locals put that aid to good use. Life must go on, Ika. Tuloy ang buhay, tsaka siyempre, may konting, ano, konting ayudang kas na nakuha kay Chuchi Foundation. Tuloy-tuloy na to. Typhoons are temporary as the real challenge begins after the disaster. For the affected residents, Siji's monetary aid has helped them regain hope in their lives. Binili po namin ng mga gamit na ano, katulad po ng damitan, dura damitan yung durabox, yung pong electric pan, saka mm -hmm. yung sigong daman ng TV, mm -hmm. rice cooker, rice cooker, mm -hmm. saka yung iba pong pangkaraniwang ano, gamit dito sa bahay. For this family, they opened a brand new grocery store. 
When I received the monetary aid from Tsuji, I told myself that I must not miss out on this great opportunity. So I used the money and opened this grocery store. At least I'll have a stable income in the future, and I did not waste the aid provided by Tsuji. Amador, who relies on a wheelchair to move about, sells dusters made from second-hand clothes. After collecting the monetary aid from the bank, he immediately knew what to do with the money. I'm going to use the money to repair my house. The rest will then be used to buy electrical appliances. It can also be used in my duster business. For this farmer living beside the Marikina River, he has cultivated his land while also starting his very own organic fertilizer business. After receiving 20,000 pesos from Tsuji, I immediately used 18,000 pesos to buy a plowing machine and the rest to buy seedlings and pay the salary of my workers. After planting the seedlings, he takes good care of them. After the disaster, they are rebuilding their lives one step at a time. Tsuji decided to suspend free clinics in the U.S. due to COVID taking the time to conduct a review of the free clinic model. A customized mobile storage box was created to transport various medical equipment in the future, saving time and effort. Here's more. In the United States, the COVID-19 pandemic is like a raging fire, which burns endlessly, blows and regenerates. Tsuji Free Clinic can only be cancelled temporarily. The pandemic was severe, and all the free clinics have been stopped. Because of this, we did some planning. For example, we should follow the U.S. Health Department's regulations and the rules of the Dental Association. How should all the medical equipment for free clinic service and even the equipment of Chinese medicine be renewed? Jason Wong has served in the medical team for more than 10 years. Even though he's now a professional carpenter, he knows the need of the team. Therefore, the customized missionary box comes from his hands. I decided to customize a mobile cabinet to install this medical equipment, to integrate these tools. The medical materials they need to use in every department are in the mobile box, saving a lot of manpower to transport these medical materials. For dentistry with a mobile storage box, medical equipment finally has a home. This is a tooth cleaning machine and we have customized it to a cabinet that can hold 10 units. In other words, if we go to a free clinic today, I only need to bring 10 units. I don't need to bring anything more than that. Of course, it will fall off when we are transporting it. So I tied it with a rope and fixed it. It's safe to keep them from falling down during transportation and easy to transport. Moving the large TCM bed in the future also saves time and effort, and also avoids damage. During the occupation period, it is actually a time for diligence and preparation for the future. And Huali and Ziji University launched a Vegetarian Go Easy campaign, working with vegetarian shops to motivate people to eat more vegetarian food. Let's take a look. During the pandemic, the Master has encouraged all of us to be vegetarians. So we're thinking of what we can do, so that everyone can pledge to become vegetarians willingly. We print a blessing vouchers. Each voucher has a value of 30 NT dollars. Hello. 
In the beginning, we did not have that much sponsorship funds, and also there were not many restaurants collaborating with us. So we are worried that we are unable to promote this good cause to the public. When we were worried about this problem, hope arrived. We were very grateful towards the volunteers in Hualien. Within a week, Sichi brothers and sisters spread into groups to search for vegetarian shops in Hualien. Within a week, we managed to invite over 20 shops and the numbers kept on increasing. Everyone was willing to support this good cause. Hello everyone, I'm Nugelo. Today we are at our campus during random interviews with the students to hear their thoughts and opinions on the Vegetarian Blessing voucher campaign. What I like most is that when the students are collecting the vouchers, they are thinking on how many days do they want to pledge to be a vegetarian. Some students will make a vow that they will want to be a vegetarian for 30 days, and they'll write it down in the book. When their friends are writing, they'll encourage their friends to pledge the same, being vegetarian for 30 days. The power between peers and colleagues is truly amazing, and this touched me the most. In the beginning, some of the shops will call to our office and inquire if they can participate in this event. Some other shops participated because our Chichi brothers and sisters had out to promote this good cause with them. Actually, many shops are willing to participate in our event because we all have the same goal, that is, to promote vegetarianism. Our goal is the same with the master. We're all very touched when the shops take the initiative to collaborate with us in this activity. Many people after receiving the vouchers head over to our shop to have a meal. They will then help us promote our shop, leading more customers to our shop. I think this is a very positive cycle and it helps us a lot. After receiving the voucher, I will then take a look at which shop can we use this voucher at. We have been to various shops and tried various dishes. It enabled me to change my eating habit. Now, I can easily have one or two vegetarian meals each day. Eating vegetarian food can also fill up my stomach and I am very contented. When we were doing fundraising for our activity, someone came up with a great idea. When we were worried that the number of shops collaborating is not enough, volunteers in Hualien contacted us and joined in on the good cause. When everyone is diligent in doing something, good affinities will appear from various places to make it a success. We must have the correct attitude to do the right thing. I think that everyone come together to make this activity a success, spreading good affinity with others. Every year during National Cleanup Week, Wanhua District in Taipei invites community residents to clean up. This year, 50 Zhiji volunteers joined in, helping weed and clear nearby ditches. We leave you with these images. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.